Hello there guys, welcome back to another Fortnite Battle Royale video for you guys today. In this video, we're going to be talking about the Fortnite Season 3 storyline. Now, yes, there has actually been quite a lot of storyline since the last video we made talking about the storyline. And we're just going to be talking about all the potential theories for the future event. Just basically everything, just get a full recap of what this storyline of this season is so far. So if you guys could please leave a like on the video for these kind of videos. I know a lot of you guys actually do enjoy these Fortnite storyline videos. This one's just going to be a general discussion slash theory video today. If you guys are like these interested, just to hear my points and opinions of this. Yeah, just remember to leave a like on the video. But let anyway... Let's just get straight into the video, let's just get straight into the theories. So, first one here, we have the spaceman that's actually landed into our world. The question are, who is he, where is he coming from, and where is he going? There's just the three questions right there. Um, where did he come from, right? He came from space. Now, I'm not sure if it is the same space as it was in the season one, because we did go through like a, like rifts and stuff. And that seems to take us into a different world. So i presuming this came out of a rift, landed here, and then go and went back into another one. If you guys didn't know, basically what this is, is this challenge where you guys have to gather parts and basically help this guy get back up. The key um, thing in, the que in one of the challenges was it, was it said defend the spaceship. So defending the spaceship uh, was almost like, well, who was actually going to attack him in the first place? You know, he came in, we have to defend him, and then he has to go away again. Now, what he's actually doing is quite unsure because it doesn't really make much sense why he would just come in here to come straight back out. Unless he was going to a different location, he didn't actually mean to come here. Anyway, he doesn't look like any of the characters we've seen before. It's obviously, well, it could potentially be one of the visitors, um, one of the seven visitors. It could potentially be one of them, um, but we'll have to wait and see. It doesn't look anything special. It just looks like a general spaceman. So we'll just have to wait and see. Um, but it just shows that there is more people that can go through the rifts than the seven. So it does make me think this could potentially be one of the seven because of the fact that you know, there's another character in the Fortnite storyline that can go through rifts. So far, it seemed to only be the visitors that knew how to do that. So, it looks like there's multiple other people unless they're just, there's lots of people going in, in and out rifts now. So, it does have to keep an eye on that one. That one's going to probably disappear. I don't think it's something to do with the major storyline due to the fact that it seems to be just one of them side challenges. I think the main storyline will have something to do with Atlantis. I think something's going to have to develop over here. Because we've got a brand new location, we've got Aquaman in the game now. I generally think the Atlantis is going to change. It's definitely going to you know, progress through the, through the storyline as well. We're going to have to wait and see. Um, if you guys didn't notice, I did say that part of this plane disappeared, but it's actually ended up going over here. See, so this is the plane that fell. But yeah, if we come over to Atlantis, it's actually, um, it's not actually rendering in for me right now, but these are the little orbs I was talking about. So these orbs in here, it's not actually loading up. There is multiple of them around the map. People are saying that these orbs might have something to do with the Fortnite storyline, due to the fact that they all have, well, not all of them, but most of them have different colours to each other. Now, I think that's just a coincidence. They, they might actually have something to do with it. I personally think it's just a cosmetic thing. But I, I generally think that something's going to have to happen with the Fortnite storyline in this area. Because you guys remember, at the end of every single season, they need an excuse or some sort of event to change the map. Now, this seems to be obviously to do with Aquaman and they might keep this next season but I presume in fact just thinking about it now I generally think that this location will stay for next season if not a little bit change due to the fact that we'll only have what five weeks six weeks with it it seems to be you know we've hyped this whole location up throughout the whole of the season we've been waiting for the the water to drop for Atlantis to eventually appear and when it does appear, we should get it longer than just this season. So I generally think this will probably most likely stay till 
probably the end of next season. But obviously, we have to. This is the this is kind of the beginning of the end. It's round about week seven is when the storyline usually starts picking up. So. What is going to happen this season? What is it going to be? Last season we had the Doomsday event, which we knew it was going to be a Doomsday event quite early into the season before. But there's nothing standing out right now that's going to basically tell us what's going to happen with the story. Now, the event last season, the event last season was brilliant. Um, I really enjoyed the event last season. It brought us into like a first person simulation. I generally still am not all with the simulation. I feel like... Um, in fact, there's a, there's a separate video of me talking about my opinion on it. Um, I think that, you know, it's it's quite interesting. But the the fact that these guys are, you know, shoot, they were, let's just, let's, in fact, you know, you know what? We're going to actually talk about the, the, the end of last season just so we can get a quick recap. So basically, the Doomsday event happened. We got teleported into um, a sort of office. Now, when Jonesy came back, now it's it's all he actually talked, so he actually could talk, and he said, "Can you see me?" You know, he said, he, "Can you see me?" or "Can you hear me?" Sorry, can you hear me? Now, why would he say that? Now we've never heard the Fortnite characters talk ever. It's like they're almost never; they can never talk. The only characters that ever talk are the visitor and the you know, the visitor and the you know the, the agent jonesy now is there a reason why everything on this map is is you know no one can talk because the visitor said they're all muted so it, it does make me think that if you're in this simul in, in this world you cannot talk because that's the reason why jonesy said why can't you hear me now he now obviously jonesy doesn't know that we can hear him but he just thinks we can't talk so it does obviously back up the theory that this could potentially be a simulation um because if this is a simulation then why would they be able to talk but it also the bad thing about a simulation is a simulation would not be able to go into the real world because as you know rifts are popping in and out and if they are monitoring us then they would notice these things coming so I definitely think that this is just a world that they can monitor and but no one can talk. That's another potential theory. There's actually a lot. I mean, it gets really, really complicated. I think we can actually get a little bit too far ahead of ourselves and start really going crazy on the theories. I generally think we need to wait till the end of this season to get a little bit more information, which I know that they will give us. Fortnite, they just are just drip feeding us these storyline changes and stuff. And it's just... You know, I think we all enjoy it. I think all of us love the storyline. Um, which is actually going to bring me back onto something here. Um, when we were first brought into this world, we always, well, this particular map at least, we used to come down to this sort of gate here. Now, this is the gateway. Now, this was, we, I presumed most people thought that this was going to have something to do with the Fortnite storyline. But they seem to anything involving bunkers, they just don't like to open them. So this could potentially be something for next season, the season before. But there's, I have no, I, I, I just have huge hopes that this will, I mean, it's pretty much obvious. Look at the thing. It looks so obvious to have some sort of, an, you know, something involved with the Fortnite storyline. And it's probably most likely going to happen eventually. So we're just going to have to wait and see what happens with that one. And don't even get me started on the secret bunkers. There's one underneath the water and there's one... I think there's one over... I can't remember what where it is on the map exactly. It's over there. We'll go have a look at it while we're coming over. But basically, yeah, these bunkers, I think they're just there as a meme at this point. Um, there was a secret bunker. You guys remember all the videos way back um, in the previous map. I think they just have them there to get us talking about secret bunkers and they actually don't do anything. So I just don't have any hopes for secret bunkers. We'll have to wait and see what happens um, in the future and see if any secret bunker changes ever happen. But yeah, underneath here, we've got another secret, another secret bunker and yes, of course, it doesn't open at all. But, you know, that is it. Uh, we're just going to have a quick recap for this video. So basically, we're going to have to keep an eye on Atlantis. I don't think it'll have anything to do with the storyline. But if it does, then it probably... I just don't see it happening. I feel like something to do with the spaceship is more likely. Um, or you never know. You know what happens. We've had many weird things just happen. There could be something just pop up in the sky. There could be just a weird orb just appear out of nowhere. You know how they like to do these storyline changes. 
But anyway, we've got cars still to come, so cars might have something to do with it. But really excited for the car update to come anyway. But I think this is going to be it for the Fortnite storyline, guys, today. It was just a quick recap slash discussion. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below for these Fortnite map changes and Fortnite, you know, discussion videos. But anyway, I hope I see you back on the channel for another Fortnite Battle Royale video. And peace out, guys. Have a good day or night.